Nicole from Nicole Loves Nails. Welcome to my channel. So I think this is the final video that had like the ruined intro and outro that set me back pretty bad this month. So this video is for the August 2022 Polish Gamers box. For August the theme is Kirby. So Polish Gamers box is live right now. All these polishes are still available. I just double checked. If you are new and have no idea about Polish Gamers box, I will have all that information down in the description box along with timestamps and a link to my blog post. Um, since I'm late, let's just get into this video. First up, we have Color Spectrum Polish with Jam Believer. This polish was inspired by the Jam Believer, and it's described as being a purple to gold multi chrome magnetic base with purple aurora shimmer, scattered silver reflective glitter, and this also glows in the dark. It is priced at $12.50 for 13 ml and has a cap of 75 bottles. Jam Believer had a fantastic formula. It felt slightly on the thicker side, but I had no application issues with this one. This polish has literally everything in it, but it does not feel like too much on the nail somehow. Like the magnetic pigment in here, super strong. The reflective glitter, super sparkly. Like the glow in the dark, super glowy. Like this polish has literally everything in it and I really, really love it. The magnetic pigment magnetized very easily for me, which you are seeing here. For my live swatch, I did use a bar magnet. For my full hand swatch, I did use my favorite ring magnet. I prefer this one magnetized, but I feel like it looks great both magnetized and unmagnetized, so really do whichever you want. I did not find that magnetizing this changed the way the reflective glitter work. It was still like super sparkly out in natural sunlight regardless. I charged this one up with a black light flashlight and it was really, really strong and glowy. Based on how strongly it glowed for me using a black light flashlight, I do think you will be able to charge this one up really nicely just using regular old sunlight. And speaking of sunlight, here is the polish out in natural lighting and you can really see the silver reflective glitters perfectly in the sun, even though it wasn't like super sunny the day I swatched this one. So I swatched this one in three coats plus two coats of top coat. My middle nail is unmagnetized. Removal will likely be on the more difficult side if you for some reason decide to scrub this one off. I used a PLF base coat and I had no issues. Next up we have Geeky Bee's Nail Colors with Little Pink Cosplayer. This polish was inspired by Sword Kirby and is described as being a blue edge bubblegum pink polish with green sparks. It is priced at $10 for 15ml and has a cap of 40 bottles. Little Pink Cosplayer had a fantastic formula. It does start off a little bit sheer, so you will definitely want to build this one up to get the most opacity. I did uh, goof on the live swatch here. I forgot to get enough polish on my brush for the second coat, so I had to fix that up a little bit. I think this one's going to be a two to three coater depending on your nail length. If you have very short nails without much of a free edge, this will definitely be passable in two coats. If you have longer nails, I think you'll definitely want to go in for three coats. I kind of feel like this polish has like a bit of a magnetic look on the nail. I feel like I was seeing like a bluish kind of shimmer and then like a second shimmer. I'm having a bit of a toss up on whether or not I would say it was like a second green or a second blue shimmer, but there definitely seems to be two different things going on in there. Well, to my eyes at least. Nothing in here is going to dry down textured or be difficult to remove and no issues with staining. Next up, we have Night Owl Lacquer with Crystal Shards. Night Owl Lacquer was inspired by the Nintendo 64 Kirby game called the Crystal Shards. This polish is described as being a clear base filled with silver reflective glitter pigment, pink gold green color shifting shimmer, as well as crystal chameleon flakies. It is priced at $13 for 15 ml and has no cap. Crystal Shards had a fantastic formula. This polish is jam packed with glitters and flakies, but surprisingly did not feel thick at all to me. Since this one is in a clear base, you will definitely want to build this one up to reach full opacity. This polish is definitely sheer enough in one coat that you can just use this one as a topper over a variety of colors. If you don't mind visible nail line in two coats, this looks really pretty. Personally, for personal wear, I would likely just wear this one in two coats because I really liked it that way. If you want this one to be 100% opaque, you will want to go in for three coats. This polish does dry down fairly textured, so you will definitely want like a glitter smoothing top coat before going through your quick dry top coat to get it perfectly smooth or do at least two coats of top coat. 
Removal will be on the more difficult side. If you opt to scrub this one off, I would not recommend that. Definitely peel off base coat or use the soak off method. And side note, I have really, really, really been loving the reflective glitter and flaky combinations and clear bases that this brand has been doing lately. The final polish I have to share is by Swamp Gloss, and this one is called Meta Knight. This polish was inspired by the one and only Meta Knight, and it's described as being a light and violet curly base with neon pink and purple and blue hex glitters, as well as navy hexes. It is priced at $12 for 15ml and has a cap of 200 bottles. This polish had a really great formula. I will say that it is on the more sheer side, so you will definitely want to build this one up to get the most opacity. Depending on how thick of a coat you go in for will depend on whether or not you have visible nail line with it. I clearly went in for significantly thicker coats on my full hand swatch than I did for the live swatch because like it was super sheer for the live swatch, but not nearly as sheer for my full hand swatch. The glitters all spread out very evenly and easily and do not dry on textured. I use one coat of top coat and that seemed to smooth it out perfectly in typical swamp gloss fashion, I might add. I do think removal will be on the more difficult side if you opt to scrub this one off. I would not recommend it. Definitely soak it off or use a peel off base coat. And so that is everything that I have to share for Polish Gamers Box for August 2022. The Polish Gamers Box shop will close on August 20th at 10 p.m. Mountain Time. So there still is time to pick up any of these polishes or just do some shopping. I was just over on the website and there are a lot of really fun things available. I do want to apologize that this video is so late going up. Uh, August has been a rough month over here. I plan on having a live stream this weekend, likely Sunday at 3 p.m. my normal time. I do hope you will join me for that. We'll do some live swatching, some chit chatting, and just some general shenanigans and fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!